We, your friends and family, gather on your wedding day to bless and celebrate with you the holy sacrament that will make you husband and wife. The friends and family of the bride represent a social history and a genealogy that has brought to this day this woman. Her physical beauty, her unique personality, her memories, and her dreams have been shaped and nurtured by the community of those gathered as friends and family of the bride. This man, on the other hand, has become what and who he is, largely because of those gathered here as friends and family of the groom. They have profoundly influenced his aspirations, his mannerisms, his tastes and expectations, his spiritual and emotional maturity, and his psychological makeup. In part, it is your similarities that have drawn you together. Similar interests, similar goals, a shared faith. In part, it is your differences that have attracted you to each other. You inspire one another because of what one lacks, the other seems to possess. Where one of you seems weak, the other seems strong. When one seems reticent, the other seems confident. Today you stand at this altar because of what you do and do not possess, and because of two communities of people who love you and have poured what they had to bring into your lives. What brings us here today is ordained by God, whose holy word mandates that you step out from your two separate worlds and become one entity, one flesh, Apart from God, what we have come to celebrate would be impossible. It would require a divine miracle. Only the God who created each of you, as unique from all the world as a snowflake on a silver breeze, could make of you two one abiding union strong enough to weather the storms of life and not be torn apart. It is that mystical bonding that we have come to witness and to bless. Apart from birth and death and your birth into the family of God, this is the most holy and important day of your lives. This sacrament of marriage is holy ground. It must not be taken lightly, for marriage is not a contract, but a holy three-way covenant between a man, a woman, and God Himself. We who have come to witness and to bless this union are also responsible to support, to encourage, and when hard times come, as they do to all marriages, to remind you of this vow, to cherish with love, to live in honor, to be faithful to each other as long as you both shall live. It is our hope and expectation that you will walk together in the light of God's word and in the bond of his love. Only this bond will be strong enough to hold you secure when the storms come. Draw your love for each other from God's love for you. Only that love is a source so deep and inexhaustible that you would never need to find yourselves empty of love, no matter how much is demanded of you. Your love for each other has singled you out and drawn your attention like a magnet away from all other attractions to focus on each other. Now may your love, intensified and purified by this sacrament, turn your attention to focus outside yourselves. May you find that love is fed and multiplied by giving itself away. May your physical union bring you great delight and be blessed with children to love and nurture, to call from you the best that is in you. May the union of your minds produce great ideas. Together you may discover revelations of eternal truth. May you never allow your thoughts to be spent on smallness, mediocrity, or regret. May your social union bring together around your table and hearth friends each of you have known and treasured. May this circle continue to widen as your home becomes a safe and joyful center of warmth and celebration. May the strong and secure ties of trust grow between you and give you the freedom to welcome the hurt, the lonely, the broken, and the stranger into the embrace of your home. May the security you feel in each other's embrace keep you from jealousy. May you never feel threatened or abandoned when for a time you extend a hand of mercy or a heart of compassion to someone lost in the night. May the union of your spirits produce a shared hunger for the presence of God in your home, a shared appreciation for beauty, and a longing for those things that feed the spirit, great literature, art, nature, and truth. May you yield to each other freely, 
your bodies, your minds, your social heritage, your spirits. May your marriage draw you even closer to the heart of God, give you complete satisfaction, and bring you deep abiding joy in the love you share together forever.